He gotta taste this. Okay, this is so good. You like it? It's mine, right? It's it, almost gone. You can have another one. Hey guys, it's me. Pineapple Beacon. Where the hell you been? Yes, it's been so long and I'm so sorry you guys, but I'm big with some more yummy, easy recipes that are like so easy that you're gonna be like, we don't even need her. But don't say that, I need you to bring it back because I think you do need me because I need you, we need each other, okay? But today y'all, we are making vegan, spicy, Crispy chicken sandwiches. I should be able to eat a chicken sandwich if I want. So you guys have actually been asking for this video for a while and I just kind of like put it off, you know, like, you know, I'll give a little razzle dazzle later or whatever. <laughs> but yes, I'm gonna make it today because I'm actually craving it myself. Um, it's really not much to it. I've actually seen people do it this way. They just don't season it the same way that I do, but they do use the same meat if you will so today i am using the lightly seasoned chicken breast from garden and it actually needs to be room temperature it does not need to be cold anymore you will need about two cups of flour and then let me just tell you some of my spices and i will have the measurements in the description box below so don't worry about that i got you so i have some onion powder black pepper garlic powder chicken seasoning that i get from kroger don't worry it's vegan Duh. And I also have some Nashville hot seasoning that I get from Kroger as well. And then we also have some vegan ranch. Um, I do make my own vegan ranch and if you want to use my ranch, you go back a lot of videos and I actually have the recipe for my ranch back there. But I didn't feel like making my own ranch today, so I'm using the diet ranch. And then I also have some spicy brown mustard, hot sauce of your choice. And then I also have some coleslaw mix, sliced red onions these are the sweet red onions it's like um vidalia or something and i get these from sam's plant-based milk uh, original unsweet and then i'm going to be using the dave's killer burger buns also you need a little egg replacer you don't have to use this you can actually use aquafaba which is the liquid in the can of chickpeas you don't have to use either or like you can just use the other wet ingredients that we're using, but I prefer to use this because it gives it that sliminess, but not in a gross way. And I have my oil already heating up. I'm sorry if you can hear it. This induction burner is kind of a little bootleg, but that's okay. And I also recommend using a wire rack to set your chicken cutlets on after you've breaded them. So let's do our wet batter. This is just a cup of jalapeno juice. It's gonna help with our spiciness. Some hot sauce. And I'm just adding like quite a few shakes of that. Spicy mustard, half of a teaspoon of my egg replacer. Honestly, you might not even need that much, but that's just how much I'm using. And then a splash of your non-dairy milk. And just mix everything up really well. The reason why we're doing this one first is because it's going to get thick, like me. <laughs> It's gonna thicken up like me. <laughs> After it's all whisked up really well, just set it to the side so it can get thicker. Then I snicker, but it's gotta be vegan. All right, and now for your dry batter. All I'm gonna be doing is adding in the chicken seasoning, the black pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. And we're saving the Nashville hot seasoning for the very last because you might not want to add that if you can't handle the heat. If you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen. Okay, I'm gonna stop being so aggressive. And we're gonna use this a little later. So just sit it to the side with your other. And if you want to use my ranch, which I recommend using my ranch, cause it's bomb, just, you know, sit it to the side. All right, and go ahead and mix all that in. All right, you guys, so I do have a few of them already breaded and ready to go into the fire. But I want to do a few more. So what I did was I took the cutlet, added it to the flour regular, put it in my wet batter, and I made my wet batter a little thicker. I just added some flour to it because I wanted it to kind of grab better. And then back into my dry. And then it's going to go back into the wet batter for that double battered 
texture, all right? And then back into the dry flour mixture. And then we're just gonna coat that all over. So we're just gonna add it with the other one so it can rest. Okay, so now since our cutlets have been resting and they're super big and beautiful, let's take our first one and put it in your oil. Be sure not to overcrowd the pan. You don't want it boiling over and you want them to cook evenly. And I also recommend using a deep fryer. I just did not feel like cleaning out mine. I'm just gonna be honest. And they need to fry for about three to four minutes. Since they're all coated, they should cook pretty evenly without you having to flip them over. But if you're using something like what I'm using, you might have to flip them over, but it's okay. Just do it. Let's check them in. Ooh. So I am flipping them. All right, so these are finished. What I'm gonna do is just take them out. You see that? So you see this. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys, so while this batch is finishing up, I'm gonna go ahead and do my coleslaw mix. So I have my little coleslaw mix that came in a bag out of the produce section at Kroger. Any grocery store will work. And then all I'm gonna do is get my vegan mayo and just pour some into the coleslaw mix. Okay. However much you want. Um, I didn't add a lot. It might be one tablespoon, honestly. And I know it's a little weird, but trust me on this. A little bit of agave, because we don't eat honey. If you do, that's your business. Ain't got nothing to do with me. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of the Nashville hot seasoning and sprinkle it into my coleslaw mix. Mix it through. Try to get every piece of coleslaw coated evenly. So yummy. Oh, I can't wait. And this is spicy. So if you don't want it super spicy, just omit this. Okay? Do not add in the Nashville hot seasoning because it is pretty spicy. All right? So let me check on my bun. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little bit more of the Nashville hot onto the patties that are already finished. If you hear playing in the background, that's my Husky. He's playing with his toys while I'm recording. And I told all of them to be quiet. So he's just doing what he wants to do at this point. Sprinkle that on the rest of those. It's best to do it when it's fresh out of the oil because it'll kind of stick better. But it's whatever you want. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get some vegan mayonnaise and I'm just gonna put it on both sides of the bun. Take one of our, look at how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh. Look at it, it's so beautiful. It smells so good. And all we're gonna do is put it on there, on our toasted bun with our mayo on. We're just gonna top it with our spicy coleslaw. It's gonna be falling off the side, y'all, but nobody said it was gonna be neat. You know? All right, so I put my red onions on top, like this. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, so now it's time to put the top bun on. And would you look at this? Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Mm. It's so good and juicy. Look at the center. Mmm. Yes. Y'all, this is really good. Super easy. Sorry it took so long. And there are so many different variations. You can dip it in oil and like the Nashville hot seasoning. You can use agave and drizzle it over the top and make like a hot honey. Either way, you can definitely do it. It's so easy. It's so delicious. And if you want to, you can actually cut it up and add it to a salad if you want. My favorite salad is crispy chicken barbecue salad. So you could cut this up and literally put it on a bed of greens, drizzle some um, ranch on top and some barbecue sauce, little corn, onions. There you go. Like it will be delicious. I promise you. Try it. Let me know if you try it. And if you like it, also let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. 
and click the notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your patience and welcome back. Season three, kick off with the spicy, vegan, crispy chicken sandwich. Bye you guys.